them that Monday Night Smash that you all love action. We're going to have that coming up fairly soon. We're going to be starting off our first set with Koppel and Welp, which should be a Bayonetta and K rule. Uh, Bayonetta, of course, getting some love in the most recent patch. And K rule definitely is still like a force to be reckoned with. That's a character that if you uh, are caught sleeping, if you get sucked up in the that cannonballs in the correct position, just like, ooh, okay. That, we almost just saw a perfect uh, example of what I was talking about. But, uh, yeah, you can eat like a quick 50 with uh, everything just going right for K. Rule. It's very easy to line up. But, uh, let's see, I believe Couple, yeah, Couple is our K. Rule and Welp. I'm really excited to see what those new transitions are going to be from Bayonetta. We saw like a little bit of love of the up tilt, harder to SDI out of those up B, witch twists, uh, ABK. Also getting some love. So it's almost like it, it was sounding like she was going to be put back to her, her former glory. But we'll see. Okay. Ooh, the crown just sending Koppel. Uh, putting Welp in a great position. But another witch time coming from our Bayonetta player. It looks like uh, Bayonetta is very liberal with their witch time. So uh, I think that whenever the next one connects... Uh, if Welp hasn't lost his stock, then it shouldn't be too effective. Like, Welp should not have enough time to actually throw out a, a smash attack or something. Maybe into an up tilt, uh, which may be the... Oh, okay, yeah, still had enough time for an up smash. Wow. Diminishing returns on that move uh, do not seem like they were as strong as they were before. Or at least as impactful. Okay, there's the cannonball at the ledge. And now setting up the traps once again. Okay, I have no. Hey, you arrived! Four minutes late. I was waiting for <laughs> I was waiting for this. Oh! <laughs> I just realized I'm looking at the wrong screen. Oh, we're already on? Oh, shoot. We're already on, baby! You know, we're actually down a, for one stock apiece for Koppel and Wilp, with, of course, getting the crown extension. Why do they buff Cable? <laughs> Why do they buff this character? already ridiculous and yeah I, whatever direction your the crown was traveling is the direction it's going to send you makes it a very good combo tool i am very fortunate that i don't have to worry about the table <laughs> crown but oh finish this man off to the side mm -mm, this is not the old days that's that's not gonna finish off a heavy like he used to i think that's kind of like one thing to know i mean it, there is it hasn't been many like Notable K rolls aside from like maybe Ben Gold, and I think there's one other one that resides in Europe. I'm not too sure of the name, but like every K roll is pretty flowcharty, so it's kind of at one point or another in the game like you can get really used to like oh god, fourth throw does not kill. Um, there are very few moves that kill with Bayonetta. Yeah, I'm, I'm, and that's why I was kind of happy about the buff. I was like, there are 80 plus matchups in this game. Bayonetta isn't going to be that big of a threat because there are other characters who can just put away her like her tools. I don't know, man. I think when everyone was looking at those patch notes and they saw Bayonetta's can't name come up, so the people were having PTSD. Like, not again. Not these flashbacks. <laughs> yeah. I do like the way that Welp is using uh, Witch Time to activate it on the crown coming back, though. It's very smart, and with the crown being such a prominent tool, for K rule, it's pretty much always going to be active, which is going to always have um, an opportunity to activate which time. Yeah. Uh, going back to what I said, right? Like every K rule gets very flow charty. Granted, like the buffs did give him like more abilities now to survive, and I honestly think maybe he might actually be the second or indefinitely the top. Like there's only so many heavies in this game, but he's probably a top three best heavy in the game because of like these buffs have been so significant especially the armor buffs that he got to his belly but yeah, i think still... he's like the second heaviest boy right so yeah yeah he's the second heaviest about this forever oh that's so good and the armor yep if that would have been pre-patched that would have been over yeah but you i mean you gotta think like at the same time like how how much did that crack his belly his belly is definitely cracked 
Yeah, I think he's gonna need one more full hit, and then you can finally get over it. But pre-patch, that would have cracked the entire belly for sure. Like, that you know, belly cannot handle that many special attacks, or he, it could have barely handled like one. Oh, that was good. Yep, and it's over. And it's only because the belly wasn't showing and the startup frames of forward air it has no belly whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, that's just well before taking advantage of the crown that's always going to be active on the map because that's such a great tool for K Rule to use. I mean, it's either going to knock your opponent away, which allows you to set up your traps again, or it's going to knock you above K Rule, and then <laughs> guess what? It's go time. Yeah, it, but yeah, I, I think that's one of the shortcomings of Carol is because like, because he's a heavy, because he's um, he's very much reliant on crown. It's he gets very flowcharty. So like for Bayonetta, this is very much like understand crown, respect crown, and then it's over because Carol literally has nothing in the toolkit that can actually give make you worry about something else. Like granted, Carol will usually follow up with blunderbuss, but. It, it, that's it. That's the biggest follow-up. And the reason why they follow Blunderbuss is because the, um, you get armor from Belly with Crown, and Blunderbuss is probably the fa I think it's like the fastest thing he has out of out of uh, side B, especially if he's looking to zone and pull you in. In earlier percents, later percents, usually K Roll will go for an up air or an up smash. It all depends on your DI and how they react. Okay. Well, running to game two, running right back to. Pokemon Stadium 2. I wonder if we're gonna see uh, maybe some less crown at, at higher percents, anyways, where which where it'll can, uh, the crown can actually activate which time and be the downfall for Cobble. Yeah, it, it all depends. Oh yeah, like I said, crown has armor, like because of the fact that the belly is there. The armor that K. Rool has is very similar to Tough Guy, only when it comes to crown that I've seen so far, uh, as of this latest patch. I haven't seen too much. Nice. Okay. This is a, yeah, this is gonna be a good witch twist. Here's seventy four percent. It's still pretty even game, even though like Bayo's at like kill percent. Um, it's just the fact that like if she does get a witch time here, or if she gets another combo to a confirm, that'll put Carol on the back foot again. That was a really good cross up. Like I said, like if you can really predict that, yep, cross up once again. If you can really predict that option, you have nothing to fear. Absolutely nothing. Wow. Oh, it's good. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, the revenge kill from Koppel, but I really like what Welp did there. Uh, didn't even oh, get the witch twist that time, or the witch time. Just saw the the bowling ball, or the ball bounce off his shield, and went for the F smash. Yeah, it's also good to know that like yeah, if, if you guys have forgotten in case like Nair dash attack that has armor. And as long as Carol is showing the belly and those options, he will receive armor very similar to Tough Guy. So it's pretty much really difficult to get around. I want to say it's just a better Tough Guy at that point. But the only thing is that it's uh, damage dependent. So after a certain time, you can just crack it. Versus Bowser's, which is only available like for a space time. A footstool will get Koppel out of that sticky situation. Now you can see putting Welp on the left side of the stage, but a witch twist out of shield. Oh, and catching the second jump. Yep. Yes, that's enough. Yeah, that's the one thing. Oh yeah. Uh, you have to be careful with up air. The hitbox is actually like, it's it's pretty. It comes out faster now because of the buffs, but the hitbox is actually like uh, pretty. Uh, it's pretty extended. It, it, it could be easy to totally forget how big it is. Definitely. Getting a, just a little bit of damage. Koppel finding himself off stage again. Oh, luckily for Koppel, the, uh, he was too far away for the projectile to actually activate the witch time on him. Yeah, I still respect it because you don't give up that stage positioning or that, that frame where you would be holding shield or spot dodge. You're able to just react to Koppel. Hey, yo. Oh, nice. Good after burning to come back. Don't burn the jump. Nice. And this is Winter's Quarters. What the heck? And these new, these new, uh, these new patch notes, man. They Eight point oh, baby. Bro, they barely buffed Carol. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that, that, that's actually good. That was good. That was good. He actually spaced himself away to avoid getting hit by dash attack. 
Look at Sick. They both bailed up Smash 2, but that wasn't the sweet spot for Oh, we was, know. We and know because Welp continues to use F Smash over and over and over. Oh, he's dead. That's it. Yep. Neutral air. That'll do it. That has wow, that killed the heavy boy? Yep. Yeah. It's nah, the fun guy. Double ADK puts you in the blast zone. Yeah. That's like the only time Nero will ever kill a Bayo. Yeah, <laughs> put, this, put this character back in the trash. <laughs> if Bayo sneezed on K Roll, K Roll was dead. Like, I thought that was situation. Clean, actually. That was actually a super good uh, punish. Yeah, like I said, I've been, I've been playing a lot of Bayo too. Wait, I think you're gonna play like, Falco. Before, before the uh, buff or whatever, I think she's pretty good still. So. And I, I play Falco a lot too. Those are the two characters I've been playing. What about Marth? And Marth sometimes. Um, I think, in my opinion, Marth's buffs weren't significant enough to like help no. him out. I think Marth isn't actually buffed at all. Like, yeah, he's if not. Already, if you already <laughs> knew how to um, get tippers, it doesn't matter. Really? Like, I guess it makes it easier for people that weren't good with Mark, but he's hey, not, man. it's not Mark like his- Hey man, need that buff. It's not like his Tibber's gonna kill earlier.